A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what, the lo see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not re yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Here at Queen of All Saints, we are very fortunate to have an extensive treasure which we have brought out today in case them on the altar. Relics are kind of reminders to us that the saints we honor are people just like us who lived and walked this earth and showed us what it takes to live the gospel, to follow Christ, to be his friend to encourage us that it is possible to live a good Christian 
life. We are also blessed because we have these beautiful stained glass windows. Each window has a different theme. If you want to know what each window depicts, on the other side of the pillars, you have a little black plaque that tells you some of them are windows that are dedicated to missionaries, women saints, evangelists, martyrs, saints from all walks of life. You don't see them in the dark. But when the sun is up, whether it is in the morning, rising in the east, or setting in the west, light shines through. And you can see the reflection of those beautiful stained glass windows with all their shades on the marble on either side. It kind of offers us an image of who saints are. They become visible in all their radiance and beauty only when light passes through them. Saints are simply people who allow the light of Christ to shine through them. In their word and in their action. Saints are people who allow the light of Christ to shine through them. And all of us at our baptism are given a light so that we can keep it burning brightly so that the light of Christ may be reflected through us to others. During this Mass, we have the sixth graders in attendance, not all, some are watching at home. And I just want to offer them a saint, or a possible saint of our times. Some of you heard earlier last month, Pope Francis beatified a young man, Carlos Acutis. This young man was born in 1991 in London. He grew up like any teenager, loved jeans and Nikes. Carlos Acutis was, loved the internet. He had a cell phone, he had a computer, and he created this website that documented Eucharistic miracles around the world. Unfortunately, he was diagnosed with leukemia and died in 2006, just 16 years old. Carlos Acutis was buried in his favorite jeans and with his favorite Nikes on. On October 10th, Pope Francis beatified him, and hopefully there will be another miracle, and he will be declared a saint. He is a saint of our times, of this millennium, an inspiration to young people who have to use the talents that God has blessed us with for the service of God's kingdom. That is how we allow the light of Christ to shine through us. Carlos Acutis was just another teenager who loved life, walked this earth, but is still an inspiration to all of us because he allowed the light of Christ to shine through him. Each time, Christ is made known through our word and our actions. We are growing to be saints. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. 
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified upon his father, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. As we can be called children of God, we are invited to call upon God as our Father and express our needs and the needs of the world. For the Church, the communion of saints, that we may grow in holiness as we grow in faithfulness to the Beatitudes, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations, that they may choose to be peacemakers recognizing the image of God even in their enemies and encourage the people they lead to do the same. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the citizens of the United States, as we approach our election this week, that we will do so with a hunger and thirst for righteousness, that we may sustain and battle for justice and goodness and not lose heart, and elect officials who will lead us on to the path of the country of true social justice for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who mourn, that they may find comfort in the Lord through the support and compassion of family, friends, and our parish community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that God's grace, we may continually pursue the ideals expressed in the Beatitudes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us around the country and around the world as we battle these new struggles of the virus, that we have to resolve to behave and act in a manner that puts the protection of others first so that we can bring this virus under control. For all serving in this battle, doctors, nurses, first responders, all those working in essential businesses, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from illness and for their caregivers, especially Chris Jenkinson, Marie Bucaro, Raphael Larilla Sr., and all the sick of our parish, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our brothers and sisters who have passed, especially Francisco Vega, and those who have died alone and in silence due to the pandemic, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we trust that those who show mercy receive mercy in return. Help us to live lives marked by mercy. Grant this and all the prayers we make through Christ our Lord.
with you, sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord. And grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, with the great array of our sisters and brothers already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims, advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon these exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example and so we glorify you with the multitudes of multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim indeed holy O lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give light to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night Jesus was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. And do this in memory of me. mystery of Therefore, O Lord, 
as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May Jesus make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Queen of all saints, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your, com in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed sisters and brothers and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace.
behold, him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The ushers will send each pew up for communion, starting with the back and moving forward. Please sanitize your hands before receiving. Please be sure your mask is on correctly, completely covering your mouth and nose. While waiting in the aisle, please stand on the marked spots on the floor. When you approach the minister, leave your mask on. After receiving the body of Christ in your hand, move to the next marked spot on the floor, about 12 feet away. Once there, remove your mask, consume the body, replace your mask, and then return to your seat.
us pray. As we humbly adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. This Monday, November 2nd, is the Feast of All Souls, the commemoration of all the faithful departed. Here at Queen of All Saints, we especially remember our loved ones who have passed on this last year at a special memorial mass. The names of our loved ones are read aloud and a candle is lit in each one's memory. The Book of the Dead will be carried in procession and then enthroned at the altar of the Sacred Heart throughout the month of November. The All Souls Memorial Liturgy is this Monday evening, beginning at 7.30 p.m. The Mass will also be live streamed through our parish website. There'll be a second collection next weekend to support the Retired Priest Fund. At the end of the Mass, please remain in your pews. The ushers will release the pews one at a time. Please be patient and wait for the ushers to release you. Weekly regular donations can be placed in the baskets at the exits. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look down upon you and give you his peace. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go with the joy and the peace of Christ. And have a blessed week, everyone.